In today's Medico Apps Masterclass, we will learn about psychosomatic disorders. Now, psychosomatic disorders are those physical disorders which are either caused or aggravated by psychological factors. So, these are actually physical disorders which are either caused or they are aggravated by psychological factors. Let's understand stress. Stress is any circumstance which disturbs the normal physiological or psychological fu functioning. Now, Sele gave a model of stress called as general adaptation syndrome. So, general adaptation syndrome, the model given by Sele, describes how our body reacts to stress. So, there are three stages by in which you know our body reacts to stress. The first stage is the alarm reaction. In this, what happens whenever a stress is there, the immediate response or the alarm reaction is characterized by the fight or flight reaction. So, this is the first stage of general adaptation syndrome model given by Shelley in how our body reacts to stress. The next stage, right, when the stress continues, then comes the next stage that is the stage of resistance. In this what happens, this is the body starts adapting to the stress. So, this is the stage of adaptation of body to the stress. And finally, the third stage is the stage of exhaustion. What happens? Even when the body is adapting but the stress continues, in this stage what happens the body get exhausted and exhausted and the resistance of the body for decreases and the body finally collapses. So, these are the three stages of general adaptation syndrome given by Selly. So, again whenever the stress is there, the first stage is the lamb reaction, the fight or the flight reaction. The second stage is of the stage of resistance when the body you know undergoes adaptation to manage or cope up with the stress and the third stage is the stage of exhaustion when the resistance of the body finally decreases and collapses. Stress is very very integral or central to psychosomatic disorders because these are physical disorders which are either caused or aggravated by psychological factors. Let's see how different organ systems are affected in psychosomatic disorders. So, almost every organ system may be involved in psychosomatic disorders. Let's start with GI symptoms. GI symptoms are typically very common and a lot of GI diseases have a huge psychosomatic com components. So, you know diseases like peptic ulcer, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, these are all either caused or even aggravated by you know stress or psychological factors. A credible example would be IBS or irritable bowel syndrome which has a huge psychosomatic component. Uh, irritable bowel syndrome presents with a symptom of abdominal pain, cramps, alteration of bowel habits which means alternate diarrhea or constipation. So all these uh, GI symptoms have huge psychosomatic components. If we move forward, we look at respiratory symptoms even diseases like asthma, COPD uh, can be caused or aggravated more so by psychosomatic disorders. Hyperventilation syndrome is a very typical example in respiratory system of psychosomatic disorders. What happens? The patient starts taking rapid deep breathing for several minutes. This leads to the CO2 wash out. So basically PCO2 level falls and because CO2 level falls, this will lead to suffocation, giddiness, paresthesias and even synco because there is a CO2 wash out and CO2 levels are very necessary to maintain the respiratory drive because the patient is hyperventilating that is taking very rapid and deep breath for several minutes the CO2 level falls in the respiratory system and this leads to the feeling of suffocation, giddiness, paresthesia and even syncope. So this again has a huge uh, what you call psychosomatic component. Moving forward, cardiovascular symptom, we know hypertension, CAD, cardiac arrhythmias all have huge psychosomatic components to it. In fact, the association of coronary artery disease with type A personality has been very clearly established. If we see the data, there is twice the risk of increased myocardial infarction or coronary artery disease in you know patients who have type A personality. So cardiovascular system also we can see psychosomatic disorders. Then musculoskeletal system, diseases like rheumatoid arthritis or SLE um, are aggravated by stress. We all know that. Fibromyalgia is a typical again psychosomatic disorder where we have pain, stiffness of soft tissues, muscles and ligaments. There is an area of tenderness or trigger points which is 
present and symptoms like anxiety, fatigue and inability to sleep is also present in fibromyalgia. So fibromyalgia again is a very typical example of psychosomatic disorders. Also other disorders like many endocrine and skin disorders again have a lot of psychosomatic components. So remember psychosomatic disorders are those physical disorders of physical diseases which are either caused or aggravated by you know psychological factors like stress. Now how do we manage it? Generally you have to understand that patient usually resists treatment because he does not feel that his uh, because you know if you tell him that he is having this particular disease or symptom because he is psychologically thinking about it he will not accept it so patient usually resists treatment so making the patient understand the effect of psychological factors in genesis of this symptom is very very important and there are various psychotherapeutic techniques which you can use like group therapy insight oriented psychotherapy behavior therapy cognitive therapy hypnosis relaxation and stress management again becomes very integral to the management of psychosomatic disorders to end the master class let's look at the brain teaser question for today irritable bowel syndrome is a psychosomatic disorders true or false if you know to a correct answer to the question write in the comment below don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking here and once you have subscribed click on the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever we upload a new master class check out this next medical apps master class which i feel will be very helpful for you